Hi everyone, it's me and me, back with a new video. Um, loads has been going on. I've started a few projects and as you can tell my cold's gone and my hay fever's calmed down so my voice isn't froggy anymore <laughs> like the last video. And thanks everyone for your comments. I really loved reading them and it's lovely talking to new people. So I'm going to show you what all I've been working on. First of all, the African Violet Red Heart Pom Pom Yarn, I think it is. I can't remember the name. It was this here, if you can see it in the light. Well, I've been doing some knitting and I'm nearly finished my second ball. And if I can get it. Been knitting a scarf with it. If you can tell with the light. I think it's really soft. And it is kind of long, but it's not. What is it on? It's not. Um, I would like it longer, so. I have another ball to go. That's that one. Ooh. Drop the ball. Ugh. And yeah, I have another ball and a bit to go. As you can tell, the headband I got it made for me. It's crocheted. It's with love. The the red one. What do you call the red one? Um, oh I forget but it's the Red with Love by Red Heart right the next thing I've been working on the with the Red Heart ugh, Red Heart Heart and Soul sock yarn you can't really see it's the light <laughs> Oh, that's a bit more. Yeah, the best love, heart and soul. I think that one is... It's spring? Is it spring or is it berry? I think it has berry or spring in the word. I can't remember because I have another one. But I knitted a little scarf for it because I didn't know how to knit socks so I started knitting a miniature scarf and I think the colours came out really lovely and this is actually the second one because I knitted one a few months ago for my rabbit not a real rabbit but my teddy rabbit and this is what it looks like so far this one's for my owl which I'll show you in a second the colours are really lovely. And this is knitted in stock and net stitch. The start of it I started off with a garter. But I switched to a stock and net because the colours come out more. If you can see it. Yeah. But I think it's really pretty. And whenever I finish this, I'm going to um, fold it in half. Like these, if I can get it. I'm going to fold it in half and sew up. Obviously, I'll turn it inside out and then sew it up. And then, when I get near the end, I'll turn it the right way round and sew the last little bit for a scarf for my odd, which I'll show you now. It's here. It's a snowy aisle that my best friend Karen got me that I mentioned in my last video. It's a WWF one. And it's really soft. I actually called him Sir Arthur K. White. It's just a name that came to me. And I think it really suits him. Um, this is what the scarf, the first one, looks like. Knitted up. Which I'll show you on my rivet. I think it looks really nice. Obviously, this bit, I didn't knit up very well compared to this one. But... 
I think the scarf suits having a garter stitch along the bottom and the rest being the stockinette and it looks really lovely. Look at that. Right, the next working in project, progress or project item was this yarn was being thrown out. It's actually two different yarns but I'm not sure which they you know which brand and that they are but one of them's cream and one of them has the other yarn has like one thread is cream and the other thread's blue if you can see and then it goes on to a brown and white stripe but I got it wound a pair of them I got wound into a cake is it a cake top? I think so um, it was being thrown out but I thought I would just start knitting in stock and net just a big rectangle to see you know what it would turn into and it turned into like a stiff like a giant st stiff swatch and it looked really pretty with the blues and browns through it and I decided to stitch it up into like a sausage shape and stuff it and sitting looking at it I thought you know the pale baby blues and the creams looked really lovely and I thought oh I'm just I'm going to turn this into a lamb so this is what it's like when I knitted it into a sausage chip I apologize if you can't really see it properly with the lighting because the curtain I had to put over a bit because the sun's very bright today so we've got sunny weather um where did I put the thing oh this is what I'm hoping it's, John's not very good but that's what I'm hoping to achieve that back up there. that's what I'm hoping to achieve when it finished um it is, I haven't got the pattern off anything it's just something that came to my head but when I do eventually finish it, I will write it into a pattern so that any, if anybody else wants to have a go at it, you know, you can feel free. I'll put it on my Ravelry page. So I'll put all the links to everything I mentioned in the video in the description box below if you just want to have a look yourselves. Um, this here, oh by the way, the yarns for that lamb's body, I think both yarns are double knit. So they are. I don't think they're chunky because they're not very thick. Um, the lamb's legs, now I used double point needles for and I think they're four millimeter. I'm not sure what that is in the US. Um, but yes, I started a leg a few months ago and um, I haven't touched it since because um well i have it's a bit personal but i haven't started it in a few months but um hopefully soon i'll be able to get back on to it but this is if i put the yarn down this is in double knit black yarn i'm not sure of the brand but this is one of the legs and it's cylinder, cylinder shape. So, um, I set it down, and I when I came back to it, I forgot which stitch I was knitting. So unfortunately, it got all messed up, and I had to take them off the needles, and then I forgot how to put them back on. So I'm gonna get a bit of help with that. So yeah, you can see it. The bottom bit's grey, that's meant to be its hoof. And when I've knitted four of them, I'm going to uh, like put, like I'm going to knit like a little circle so that I can stitch onto it so it has a flat circle fit. And then I'm going to stuff the leg and then I'm going to stitch the top of it. So it'll be like that. And I'm going to stitch that onto the body. Obviously the black bit's going to be longer. But yeah, hopefully it turns out okay. It, it definitely won't look like a normal lamb, but you know, I think some children will like it maybe. Um, and if it does turn out right, I'm going to make more because I do the 
shoebox Christmas appeal every year now, so I do. Um, last year I did six, no, I did eight, sorry, I did eight shoe boxes last year. And then the year before that I did six, so I'm aiming for ten this year, but we'll see how we go. Um, I do have, I can't get that back on. I do have pictures of what all I made. I gathered stuff from the internet and um, the Samaritan's Purse, I think you call it, where the shoebox appeal information is. Um, I gathered patterns and ideas from their site and is it Pinterest you pronounce it as? I think it's Pinterest. Um, I gathered ideas from there too. And I have pictures that of what all I put in the shoe boxes last year but um, if any of you would like to see what all I did just feel free to comment in the box below and I'll put it into a slideshow or something put it on for my next video um, but I think the stuff I made was okay you know but what's next oh I think that's all my work in progress at the minute um, updates about the jumper I said about making in the GMC Brett Marble Chunky. Um, I started making a swatch and I used size 5mm knitting needles. I think they're 35 centimeters long. I started using them and I cast on, the first time I cast on 50 stitches because it says online that the best swatch size to make is about six to six and a half inches and I wasn't sure how long that was so I thought about 50 stitches would be okay and I knitted I'd say about 20 to 25 rows and I think it was just too long or else I dropped a stitch so I had to undo it all and I cast on 20 stitches to see if that would be long enough and I knitted how many stitches did I knit? I knitted about 30 rows I think and then I realised that the bottom was straight but my tension was too tight as I got up and unfortunately the swatch went in like that it wasn't straight and with me either the very ca first row where you cast on is either too loose or the ends are too loose and the middle's too tight so I need to work on getting it straight and getting the end stitches um, well not really tight but tighter than what I'm making them and I need to work on why I'm getting my tension's getting tighter so I need to work on that before I even do the jumper so I think it's going to be a while yet but I'll keep you all updated um I also what else have I been up to I've also sent a package off to Sharon Butchie so hopefully she'll get that about Tuesday or Thursday I think she'll like it so um yeah, I made the box pretty because I like to make things pretty and yeah, I hope she likes it. So, what else? Oh, I would also like to give a shout out to Margaret, um, Jen Evans, I'm sorry if I've pronounced your name wrong, um, you Great Creek Cottage, Karen Orr. Um, busy lift and drink and so I wrote it all down so I can remember and T Kai and all the other subscribers that have been subscribing to my channel um, thank you all I'm really happy and I hope you are enjoying watching my videos I like to do different things so sometimes I'll do a video like now where I'm talking or make like a video about how to make a certain recipe or like the lock one I made my trip to the lock which is getting a lot of views so I hope you all like them and also thank you everyone for commenting 
It's been lovely talking to you all and you're all so lovely. And I love watching all your videos. So I've been liking them and commenting as well. So, yeah, thanks. Um, what am I working on at the minute? Well, I did get another yarn haul and patterns. But I'm not going to do a video for that yet. So that I can like spread my videos out a bit. So I did get a pattern. And I'll give you a hint. It was a girl thing and a boy thing. But to make either one of them, you needed three, well should I say need, because that's past tense. Um, you need three millimeter knitting needles, but unfortunately I don't have them at the minute. So I'm going to have to get them because a few patterns I've found on Ravelry as well, you need three millimeter knitting needles. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to start them. So I've decided to start knitting a teddy bear. Um, I was given a pattern which is really similar to, is it the Mother Bear Project online where you can donate $5 I think for the pattern. Um, I was given the pattern a long time ago. Unfortunately I placed it in a notebook and I don't know where I've put it. So. I've contacted the person and hopefully they will be able to send me another copy. And yeah, I'm going to start it. It's just a basic, um, would you say, A-line bear. It's just, it's like a rectangle and it goes straight down with the two long legs and the two arms. But it's wearing, the bear's wearing like, what we call them dungarees, just jeans with like a white t-shirt on but you can choose any colour you want but um, I did start that pattern a long time ago but the bit I struggled with was starting you had to put your knitting needle through you know towards the neck bit and start knitting the arms but unfortunately I can't do that um, but I went on to very pink knits so hello do you see I think um yeah I went onto her channel and I watched one of her videos again about I think it was a cab cabin blanket or throw she star she did a bit where she put the needle through a bit of knitting and started knitting from it like casting on somehow and from that video I've kind of learned how to do it so I think knitting a teddy bear this time I'll be able to do the arms, so yay. <laughs> um, okay, one one more thing to do before I go is I'd like to say a big shout out again to Jan Crothers and Emily at crochet.net, I think her new name is, and also 24 Carat Crochet. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, I've been talking to all them lovely ladies and they're so nice and I love watching their videos too. So every time I put a new video up, I'm watching it and liking it. So, lovely ladies. And before I go, I would just like to say again, thank you everyone for watching my videos and all the subscribers and all the lovely comments. And I hope you continue to watch my videos and... Feel free to like, comment or even subscribe if you haven't yet and I will see you soon.